three hours and 15 minutes in. We're just about to lose sight of land. The Marquesas are back there. You can still barely see them. See how she looks down below? Here's our galley. Pretty standard. Mostly everything works. Swing in the stable there. Two aft cabins. Nice. We got a head here. Got a, a shower, vanity, and a toilet back there. We got two heads. Here's the salon. This is good size. And seating across the way there at the nav station. There's a head up here. This is bunk beds in that little cabin and the bee berth all the way forward. The berth is nice. The only problem is the hatch is broken. They duct tape it shut. So it doesn't really open. And check out. These two berths are crazy. Two little bunk beds in essentially a closet. There's one, that's the upper bunk. And then there's a lower bunk below it. We just got one guy in there in the upper bunk. A tiny little hatch that opens. Get some air. If I go up, up on deck, meet the crew, some of the crew, there's six of us on board. We got a pair. This is pair here, sorry, that's pair. Brother Gus. We got Rob. Four crew of the mate, I can't remember your exact uh, rank. All right, boys and girls, we're at about the head. Well, we're past the halfway mark. It's 1230. We're five hours in. We lost land on all sides an hour or two ago. It was weeks, weeks and weeks ago. Rations. Limited on rations. There was only about 12 cases of beer left. <laughs> Bobby, but we're, we're going to be in the Gulf Stream soon. We promised him we wouldn't, but then we took his iPad away from him. He has no, he has no idea I, where we are. I want you to know that I actually looked up how far out the Gulf Stream was <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> I'm sure we wouldn't have done that. They were lying to you, Bobby. Yep. The internet lied to me? All right, it's about 2.30. We're seven and a half hours in. We're expecting to see... East winds about 17. It's been pretty steady all day, maybe approaching 20. It's a bit rolly out here, but not too bad. It's about what we've done for the last seven and a half hours. A really tough gig. All right, making our final approach here. That's Fort Jefferson. We got the lighthouse just out of the right of it.
right, we got a seaplane coming in. We're hoping we're not on the runway. We're not actually positive that we're not. This is pretty cool. You're gonna watch him land. We might be on the runway. Sunset. Uh, the only radio station we can get, which is from Havana, on the 73rd anniversary of the revolution. So it is heavy on state communist party propaganda. Very interesting. Got uh, painkillers to celebrate Mr. Maynard's 32nd birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Chris. Birthday, Chris. Okay. On the first morning at the Tortugas, we're celebrating. We're celebrating that our dinghy no longer has an ad working outboard by making pancakes. And then we're going to swim ashore.
out of the uh, harbor area. The winds are really light, so we're just going to motor due east for a little while and then set sail on a southeast course sometime in the next half hour to an hour. Sunrise is probably in about 10 or 15 minutes. Anchored at the Marquesas, we left the dry Tortugas at 6.30 in the morning, had light 5 to 6 knot east winds all day, made it here about 3.30. Okay. Uh, main. To the main. Point it to the wind. 